on my pedal board Because it's really cool I'm gonna show you how to put innies on your pedal board So you can have innies too <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel I think um, as we're all sort of moving away from on stage amplifiers and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I know here in Australia, in the local music scene, especially most guys are just going direct now. There's only a couple of fellas that are still carrying around uh, a couple of marshals and a couple of maces and that sort of stuff. Uh, but most of us are starting to go direct now. Uh, we all have access to good PAs and good house PAs here. So um, any monitoring is becoming a, a thing. Like it's, it's a real thing and it's a real issue for a lot of dudes now. So it's a, a little more complicated for me as well because I, need vocals, a mixture of vocals and guitar in my in-ears, because most of my shows are solo gigs. Um, I do still try and gather as many band gigs as I can, but um, there's not that much on offer for bands at the moment, so solo work it is. So I thought I'd show you how I've done it. You will need a little bit of extra equipment, like this little mixing desk that I've got here, this little tiny KM2 Boss mixer. It's, it's about bloody 30 or 40 years old, it's ancient. Um, but it does the job quite nicely. Uh, so I'm going to show you through my signal path. But first I'm going to show you what I'm using. So this is the X-Vive, uh, I'll put some close-ups on the screen there. This is the X-Vive any -E monitoring system. It is just a six channel uh, unit with rechargeable battery, which lasts for about 20 hours, which has been pretty good so far. So it gets me well and truly gets me through a weekend full of gigs, even if I'm doing three or four gigs. It comes with a really awesome little cable. It's like a Y cable, so you can charge both the transmitter and the receiver up at the same time um, from the one USB power source. Uh, it is pretty cool. It's not stereo that I can tell. It's just mono, which is fine because um, yeah, it's just in-ears. Um, it's more just for levels and making sure I can sing in tune. So I'm gonna show you how I have done it. So first of all, you can see here, that's where my guitar comes into the pedal board. And that's where my microphone comes into the pedal board. Uh, then they both go into my harmonizer. So my harmonizer has all my vocal effects processing on it. There's a couple of videos on the channel if you want to check out all the vocals effects. Uh, so I come from the V500 harmonizer into channel one. Now I had to get a special cable made up for that. I'll show you a close up of the cable. Uh, so, then, so then my guitar signal goes from the harmonizer. So it's, there's no guitar effects in the harmonizer at all. So the, the clean signal goes out to the HX stomp and then out to my patch out. But I also take the headphone socket from the HX stomp, or I could take the other output if I really wanted to, but the uh, headphone socket was a little bit more convenient. Into the mixer, then I can mix both of them. And then I've got another cable which goes from here to the transmitter. The transmitter goes out to the uh, receiver, which my innies go into. So I've got some um, Sennheiser innies. I'll show you a close up of those as well. Uh, the box, not the actual in-ears, because they do get pretty gross if you don't keep them clean. Uh, so that is it. So I've got, uh, yeah, female. The most important cable, which was really hard to find, was, was a female to uh, TS cable. I ended up finding one at Store DJ, for those of you here in Australia. Uh, and that's how it worked. And then this little K Boss KM2 mixer. Now, a few different companies do a little mixer. Boss don't make one anymore. This is a really, really vintage one that I've had for a very long time. Um, I know Red Panda make a little four channel mixer. Uh, Behringer make a little pedal board friendly four channel mixer. They're all in that same sort of little enclosure, um, about the same size as, I don't know, here in Australia, I'd say a packet of Siggies. But um, that's pretty much how it works. So. You get, yeah, guitar in. And then what the mixer does is it lets you obviously mix the levels of everything separate. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So it gives you an amazing amount of, of flexibility with your own in -ears. So I'm I'm on stage now, I can have my, I use a Bose R1 system, which is a great big line array system. It's about seven foot tall. So it goes, I, if I'm having feedback trouble because I'm playing really loudly, I can move this behind the speaker and uh, just chuck my in-ears in. Or if I'm playing at the casino or something like that where there's no fallbacks at all, 
and you've got a, a mixing desk person operating, an audio guy, you can just chuck your own in-ears in as well and let him take care of the front of house while you take care of your own in-ears. And it's really good and simple. So um, yeah, I'll go through it all for you one more time. Guitar in, it passes through completely unaffected the harmonizer to the HX stomp, to the little mixer and into the in-ears. The microphone comes in to the harmonizer, gets all its effects put on it and its harmonies, goes out to the little mixer into number one and then out to the transmitter as well so here's a picture of the box uh, so you guys can check it out this is the in-ears that i'm using this is a close-up of the mixer this is a close-up of the weird cable ends so you can see which cable i needed to go from the harmonizer into the uh, mixer and that my friends is just about it now you know how to put these on your board now you don't have an excuse to sing That's how you do it. Go get them, Tiger. Bye.